Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, uh, the volume of a square pyramid. Uh, we shall also be looking at finding the angle at the vertex of this triangle. Again, a higher tier, uh, in fact, looking at A star third grade question here, or level one. Uh, it's a higher tier IGCC GCSE type question here. Uh, then it says, um, below is the diagram of a pyramid and it is not accurate, accurately drawn. And bad, bad grammar, that it should be, below is the diagram of a pyramid and it is not drawn accurately. That should be the right grammar. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we're looking at mathematics here. Right, uh, so this is a diagram and it then says, um, BCDE is a square pyramid with sides 10 centimeters. The other faces of the pyramid are bounded by equilateral triangles with sides of 10 centimeters. Okay. Uh, then it says calculate the volume of the pyramid and secondly, the, uh, the angle DAB. And the angle DAB is the angle at the vertex. So this is the angle DAB there, the angle at the vertex there. Okay, and uh, then moving on. Now, firstly, in order to find the volume of this pyramid, I need to find the height because the height is very important. Okay, and uh, so what I then do is to drop this line from A to the base of the pyramid, and so that it, it meets the so that it meets the base of the pyramid at the point F and F is the center of the base of the pyramid. So that's the height there, AF. The line AF intersects the line BD at the point F. So F is F is the center of the base. Okay, right. So I need to find the height AF. To do that, I have to find the value of the of the line BD, we need to find BD, find BD. So, now looking at the, um, the right angle triangle BCD, now BD squared is the hypotenuse, so BD squared is 10 squared plus 10 squared. So 10 squared plus 10 squared plus 10 squared is 200. So if if we take the square root of both sides, BD then becomes the square root of 200. So BD is the square root of 200. Leave it at that for now. Now AF, sorry, sorry, DF is half of BD. So DF will then be a half of the square root of 200. Okay, so that's DF. Now having found DF, I need to find AF. AF is the height of the pyramid. And in a triangle uh, FAD, AF is the height, and AD is the AD is the hypotenuse. Okay, so now what you then do? So AF squared is equal to hypotenuse squared minus DF squared. So hypotenuse is ten squared. Okay, minus DF squared, and DF squared. We know DF squared is uh, a half of the square root of 200. So AF squared then becomes 100 minus uh, a half of root 200 squared. If you square a half, you get a quarter. If you square the square root of 200, you get 200. So now uh, DF is now 50 because if, if you divide 200 by 4, you get 50. So AF squared is 100 minus 50, which is this one here. Uh, 100 minus 50 is 50. Uh, if we take, if we, if, we, if we then take the square root of both sides, the square root of AF squared is AF, and the square root of 50 is root 50. So AF is the square root of 50. So that's AF. Now we've now found AF. We, we are now in a position to find the volume of this pyramid because we now know the height AF. So the volume of the pyramid is the area of the base, which is 10 times 10, times the height of the pyramid, which is 
the square root of 50 divided by 3. Now, you need to memorize it because in the current system, you will not have this in your exam paper. You need to know this yourself. So, the volume of the pyramid then becomes 10 times 10 times root 50 divided by 3, and that gives us a figure of 237.7 centimeters squared to one decimal place. Okay? Now, moving on, we now want to find the um, the angle uh, BAB. Okay? Find the angle, so, or DAB, B, it's the same thing, anyway. Right. Now, to do that, firstly, I need to find uh, this angle FAD. If I just get my, my thing here. Okay, that there. I need to find the angle FAD, this one here. Oops, got wrong color. Uh, try that one. FAD is this one angle there. Okay, let me find FAD. And FAD is half of BAD. So in the triangle AFD, the sign of the angle FAD is DF, which is a which is a line opposite, divided by the hypotenuse AD. And the line the line opposite DF is uh, a half times the square root of 200, and the and the hypotenuse is 10. So we then have a half of the square root of 200 divided by 10. Okay. Now we can write the square root of 200 as the square root of 200, we can write that as the square root of 200 as the square root of the square root of 2 times the square root of oops, sorry, times the square root of 100. Okay? So the square root of 200 square root of the square root of 2 times the square root of 100. Now the square root of 100, excuse me, the square root of 100 is 10. So what we then have here is 1 over 2 times 10 times root 2 divided by 2 times 10 because you can write 0 0.5 as 1 over 2. Now the tens cancel out. So we then have root 2 divided by 2. The sign of the angle FAD is 2 divided by 2. Now if you divide root 2 by 2, you get 1. Yeah. And if you divide 2 by root 2, you get root 2. So you divide 2 by root 2, you get root 2 there. Okay? So now this number should be familiar to you then. Or she memorize it because we know that what about root two? The sign of an angle, with, the sign of an angle uh, with what about root two has to be 45. Because if you think about it, if you have an isosceles right angle triangle like this one here, with my drawing, so this is an isosceles right angle triangle, and that's the hypotenuse there. That angle is 40, sorry, it's, sorry, that angle is 90 degrees. This side is 1. Oops, no, no, 1. This side, side is 1. This side is 1. Now, 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. Now, the hypothesis has got to be the square root of 2. So that's the hypothesis there. Square root of 2. Now, because this is and associate this right triangle right angle triangle if that's 90 there so this angle is going to equal to this angle here and they're both 45 degrees so that's 45 degrees and that's 45 degrees so that's 45 degrees so the sign of this angle will be 1 divided by root 2 okay the sign of 45 degrees is 1 divided by root 2 and also got there so in effect, this angle, the angle FAD is 45 degrees. And because FAD is half of BAD, if you double 45, you get 90 degrees. So the angle BAD or DAB as required is 90 degrees. Now, I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye now. Bye-bye.